We're in the RE lab. We've been in this space for about a year and a half. The space is still under development. We have some equipment, but we are working on uh, filling it up with equipment that's appropriate to support our major. And so um, our students are going to demonstrate some of the equipment that we have that they use within our uh, plan of study and in their coursework. Here we have a student-built model of a home that is designed to have 50% of its electricity, 50% of its hot water, and 50% of its space heating provided by solar power. And so we put it here in the Heliodon. And we can simulate any latitude, uh, any time of year, or anywhere on Earth. You can change the latitude to, let's make us a little bit further north, like, what is this, Sweden maybe? Introduction to Renewable Energy, Tech 160. So this is the first 100 level class that you have that you really deal with the concepts of renewable energy. You use this heliodon, you use the wind tunnel, and you also use the PV simulator station. Well, in this piece of equipment, what they would learn about is wind turbine operation. So wind turbines have to operate in a variety of wind speeds. And so the way they adjust a different wind speed, modern wind turbines adjust the pitch of their blade so that they can optimize the lift for various wind uh, conditions. Obviously, that's the way uh, wind turbines convert the kinetic energy of the wind into electrical energy by harnessing that lift. We can do this under different wind speed conditions. This measures the wind speed, so we can uh, vary from zero clear up to about 55 or 60 miles per hour. In the This lab that we're building is very nice for students because you get to see a lot of hands-on concepts. Whereas if you're just in the classroom, you learn it, but you don't, you know, sometimes it's hard to visualize. So when you come in here, you get to see what, where uh, components are of the systems, and it, it's a great way to visualize what the system's like so that you know it better than you would just learning it out of the textbook. It's photovoltaic lab, so students come in here and work through the process of collecting data uh, through various components and different systems. And what this is, is um, single cell photovoltaics that kind of demonstrate how uh, they would interact with the sunlight so students can read the data to complete their labs. You can take data at one second, two second, four second, ten second intervals. Well, I'm from the country, I have a farm background, and I always kind of want to do something to help the environment, and my dad's an engineer, so I thought this would be a good place to jump in. Uh, some of the biggest factors is the faculty that students get to work with. We get um, really close to our faculty because they're smaller classrooms in this department, so we get to work with them one-on-one, -on -one, email all the time, you know, office hours is really nice. Some of the things that I value about this program are that it's interdisciplinary, so you have the opportunity to work across a lot of different departments and get a lot of different experience with the financial aspect of renewable energy, business, technology, and we also have opportunities for students to participate in real projects on campus, from very small to large scale. Um, you can do any student design project that you can think of, that you can make a good case for, you can pursue it.